Polls are voting in an election which opinion polls indicate will give a parliamentary mandate to a conservative, Eurosceptic party whose policies diverge from those of many of Poland's European allies. The ruling civic platform, a pro-market centre-eight grouping in power for the past eight years, looks set to lose to the conservative Law and Justice Opposition Party, run by the late twin brother of late President Lech Kaczynski, Yaroslaw. Distrustful of the European Union and an advocate of a strong NATO hand in dealing with Moscow, PIS opposes joining the Eurozone in the near future, promises more welfare spending on the poor and wants banks subject to new taxation. Some voters said they cast their vote for civic platform because there were no better alternatives. Let's say I prefer civic platform to other parties. I think it is a better choice out of the bad choices. PIS also opposes relocating migrants from the Middle East to Poland, arguing they could threaten Poland's Catholic way of life, raising the prospect of tensions with the EU on the issue. Poland has seen its economy expand by nearly 50% in the last decade, but a series of scandals erupted around the current government, led by Jewa Kopacz, which undermined its position in many voters' eyes. I notice many pros in civic platform, but systematic and brazen cover-ups all the time. This went above my capacity. PIS's advocacy of a robust Western approach towards Russia following Moscow's 2014 annexation of the Crimean Peninsula in Ukraine might also complicate any future bridge building between the EU and Russia. Exit polls will be available immediately after voting ends.